Hello, we're continuing with my notes from for cell biology and life science in a nutshell. So um, we're learning about the system of protein and um, synthesis, um, as well as lipid synthesis and transport for intracellular and intercellular purposes. So the nucleus, um, you have um, um, DNA inside of that. Proteins are produced via mRNA coming out of the um, nucleus through nuclear pores uh, after they're transcribed off of DNA off of uh, sections called genes. So each gene makes uh, a different codes for a different protein made in the um, rough endoplasmic reticulum on the ribosomal units. So proteins are synthesized. They're packaged into vesicles brought to the Golgi apparatus via the vesicles where they are modified um, and sorted, um, um, they're tagged and, um, in order to go to various specific destinations, either within or outside the cell, via export um, through the membrane, the outer membrane of the cell. Um, in the smooth, uh, smooth ER under plasmic reticulum, lipids and steroids are created as well. Um, so these are transported via vesicles to the Golgi complex, similarly in vesicles, and also marked for uh, transport via vesicles to various locations within or outside the cell. Also incoming vesicles bring molecules also. Um, some molecules are, are um, proteins or uh, these go to the lysosomes. Uh, some molecules um, uh, go to lysosomes for digestion also or um, or old uh, parts of the cell that need to be recycled also go to lysosomes for breakdown via vesicles. So the Golgi body Pokemon card <laughs> receives proteins and materials from the ER endoplasmic reticulum, packages them, and distributes them. It's used for distribution. It has vesicles which deliver cellular substances around the cell that the Golgi bodies make or organize. They process, etc. Um... Without the Golgi, nothing could get around the cell. Nothing would receive proteins or um, lipids or useful molecules. Also, nothing would leave the cell. So, um, go vote for Golgi bodies, says the puppy. So the next organelle we're learning about is lysosomes. So some molecules go to lysosomes as well. These are called little enzyme packages. They're membrane-bound sacs of enzymes that digest or degrade various cellular mic macromolecules or large molecules and any item that the cell has taken in, even bacteria that is unneeded and needs to be broken down. It is a type of vesicle with specific composition of both its membrane proteins and the proteins of its lumen, um, the space within between membranes. Each lysosome is surrounded by a membrane that maintains an acidic environment within the interior with, via a proton pump. Lysosomes contain a wide variety of hydrolytic enzymes or acid hydrolases that break down macromolecules such as nucleic acids, proteins, and polysaccharides. They're potentially, um, they have 
Dangerous hydrolytic enzymes functioning in acidic con conditions or pH of 5. These are segregated in the lysosomes to protect the other components of the cell from random destruction. Lysosomes are bound by a single phospholipid bilayer membrane. They vary in size and are formed by a fusion of Golgi dried vesicles with endosomes derived from the cell surface, which are protein uh, fiber um, um, subunits uh, um, of the cytoskeleton. Enzymes known to be present in the lysosomes include hydrolases that degrade proteins, nucleic acids, lipids, glycolipids, um, glycoproteins. So glycoproteins are proteins with uh, sugar groups. Lipids are um, fats with sugar groups. Hydrolases are most active in the acidity maintained in lysosomal um, environment. After material is broken down, lipids and amino acids are transported across the um, lysosomal membrane by permeases for use in biosynthesis. The remaining debris generally stays in the lysosome is called a residual body. Since lysosomes are little digestion machines, they go to work when the cell absorbs or eats some food. Once the material is inside the cell, the lysosomes attach and release their enzymes. And the enzyme um, break down the complex molecules that can include complex sugars and proteins. Um, so, summary, a lysosome is basically a specialized vesicle holding a variety of enzymes created by the cell with the purpose of digesting things. The enzyme proteins are created in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. These proteins are packaged in a vesicle sent to the Golgi apparatus. The Golgi does its work to create the digestive enzymes pin um, by modifying them getting them ready, pinching off a small specific vesicle, which is bound, uh, headed towards the lysosome. There the lysosomes flow in the cytoplasm. Um, they're a single membrane organelle. They contain an array of enzymes capable of breaking down all types of biological polymers, such as proteins, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, and lipids. They degrade material taken from the outside of the cell as well. They digest obsolete com components um, as well as the cell itself. Lysosomes contain about 50 different degra degradative enzymes that can hydrolyze proteins, DNA, RNA, polysaccharides, and lipids. Basically, they should be called like a recycling center too because that's what they're doing. Problems may arise if undergraded material um, accumulates within the lysosomes due to lacking or deficiency of the needed degradative enzyme. All of the lysosomal enzymes are acid hydrolases, which are active at the acidic pH of 5, maintained within lysosomes. However, at neutral pH of about 7.2, um, which is the rest of the cytoplasm pH, um, they would not, this is um, not the <clears throat> environment where these um, hydrolases could function. The requirement of these lysosomal hydrolases for acidic pH provides double protection against uncontrolled digestion of the contents of the cytosol. Even if the lysosomal membrane were to break down, the released acid hydrolase would be inactive at neutral pH of cytosol. To maintain acidic internal pH, lysosomes actively concentrate H plus ions or protons of hydrogen accomplished by a protein pump in the membrane of the lysosome actively transporting protons into the lysosome from the cytosol. 
the pumping requires energy 